finally paddling season. So right now I'm doing a fishing trip in Algonquin Park. And at this moment I'm on Rice, uh, Ralph Bice Lake, uh, trolling for a trout. Uh, so far, nothing. I've done some research online, like what some lures and stuff to do up here. But, I uh, See if, uh, see if this works out. Cause you gotta kinda take uh, what people say online with a uh, grain of salt. So, I've only been on here in the lake for about two hours now. So far, nothing. But, uh, it's nice to be up here. So tonight, I'm heading to Queer Lake. That'll be my first stop. And then tomorrow I'm heading down to Tim River. And then uh, up to Sitting Man. And then back down uh, to this lake. That's close. Man, it just went deep here, then all of a sudden really shallow. Holy crap. Oh, anyway. All right, so that steak dinner's done, the carrots are done. Um, pretty much wraps it for today. Uh, I came here, well, let's say I got into the water. I left my house around quarter to four, got in the water here around nine. Um, I trolled and paddled all day up to Queer Lake, but uh, I had no luck catching anything. 
uh, the thing is I never fished these lakes before so I don't know the depth of it uh, I looked online to see like what people use and stuff so kind of went with that but in the end though I wasn't really expecting to catch anything trying to troll my main focus is uh, tomorrow tomorrow I'm going to the Tim River and that's where I'm kind of hoping to catch some trout there just catch them at the end of the rapids or throughout that river system there but hopefully um, the water's not crazy down there one guy is saying that it's higher than normal but he didn't say if it was like moving really fast or whatnot except for the one there's like a there's some rapids and then the portage is right there and he was saying that you have to pay attention to it I wish he told me what portage it was but oh I guess I just have to really pay attention I don't want to miss that shot that would, that would kind of suck for me but uh yeah that's it nothing nothing too exciting for me just day wise it's more like an easy day just kind of <clears throat> get myself into things you know I haven't done anything really all winter so I gotta ease my body back into this but I can't forget to mention this. Uh, I have these delicious homemade cookies, or not cookies, sorry, homemade uh, energy bars, and they're phenomenal. I'm really happy I brought these on the trip with me. I was just gonna go to the dollar store, no frills, buy some cheap granola bars there, but no, this is, this is the best. I had one right after my steak. Now I'm having one just around the fire here. So yeah, happy for these. Mm. Yeah, this, yeah, one more thing. This lake, Clear Lake, it's actually a really nice lake. A lot of uh, nice campgrounds here. But everywhere I look though, moose poop everywhere. So like, there's a lot of like moose activity here. So, yep, yeah, I'm happy with this spot. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna wrap this up here. Just gonna sit by the fire, eat this, and then I'll probably go to bed. It's already 10 o'clock, so I got a big day tomorrow. So. Catch you guys later. All right, this is the morning of uh, day two. Right now I'm just packing up everything and then I'm gonna, just gonna head down to the Tim River. Uh, last night got a little, a little cold. I got down to plus two, but uh, I layered up good last night. I was expecting to be, I think tonight, last night was the only night it was gonna be really cold, so I brought extra clothes, so I wasn't shivering. But other than that, I slept, slept really good. So I woke up this morning, and when I came out here, and the, the lake behind me was just super calm, like calmer than it is right now. And I saw fish uh, jumping around. So once I pack up everything, get into the canoe, I'm gonna fish this lake a little bit in random spots until I get to my portage, which is uh, at the end of Queer Lake. It's a 1,400 meter portage from Queer Lake to the Tim River. And then uh, from there I'll be going downstream to my next uh, spot. But hopefully that Tim River is uh, not so crazy. That's all I'm just worried about. It's just, I doubt it would be crazy. I don't know, but hopefully not. If it is, things I gotta change my plans. If not, well, just continue with it.
All right, look at this guy, eh? I'm gonna keep him for lunch. Look at the markings on him. It's beautiful. So I'm still on the Tim River here, and it's one o'clock now. So I took a quick stop at one of these. Or I'm taking a quick stop at one of these campsites here. I'm gonna cook up that fish. I'm gonna fry it up. I'm also gonna have stuffing with it. So yeah, that's nothing too nothing too fancy. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put the whole fish in here. I'm just gonna take out what I need, place it in here, shake it up. And also, I'm going to cut it in the cube, so I have like little fish bites. So yep, it's hopefully just a nice quick lunch, because I still got a lot of paddling to do today. Uh, this river is... This river is pretty quick. And a lot of winds in it, like a lot of bends, windy. Yeah, it's quite the... Uh, so I might get to my destination a little quicker than I thought, maybe, but this is my first time on this river, so uh, I don't know what to expect. But I was talking to a few people today, and uh, they said this river is a lot higher than, uh, than it normally is. So, yep, so just gotta be, just be careful. So we're gonna try to put a tarp shelter here, but the ropes I have, or um, the bank light I have are not long enough. There's quite the gap between this tree and uh, that tree. That's probably about, go, I only got about maybe 25 feet of uh, bank cord. And I got about maybe three bundles, four bundles. So I'm just gonna tie them together run it to the next tree and then uh, that should be long enough and then throw my tarp up because it's starting to rain so uh, I gotta to, uh, move fast on this
Well, this is camp for the night. Uh, this is the camp on the Tim River, just off on the one of the portages. It's not the greatest uh, campsite around. Um, there's, you know, no level. Nothing really here is level except for one spot over there, but it's on the lower elevation. Um, like there was really no trees close to like really set this up. I had to, like tie like two ropes together or two bank line cords together to make it long enough to reach each tree. And I got a feeling like people are gonna I mean, they're gonna really kill me on this, like how this this setup or this tarp doesn't look good, it's all set up wrong or you know, I'm on the lower elevation with the tent. And unfortunately like I wish I could be closer to the fire, but I can't. I'm about like probably six feet away, which is a bummer, but not cold or anything. So, but I gotta change the plans. So I was thinking, so tomorrow I'll have to go down to the Tim River, and there's two black portages. One's a 2,800 meter one, and then a small lake, and then another 2,000 meter portage, and they're both black. So, but I had some difficulties today, like, uh, with the portages because, you know, it's just, there's a lot of deadfall from the winter. So, and I didn't really enjoy it that much, and, and also it's all the rain, too, so the trails were kind of muddy. So I was thinking if those were kind of bad, I could just imagine what these black portages would be like. So... Instead of spending a whole day trying to fighting with these portages to get to a lake, I decided to go back upriver and uh, go to Misty Lake tomorrow night, and then from there go back up to uh, Ralph Lake or the next lake I have to go to. And um, so yeah, that's my new plan. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard going back upriver again. Like the current is high and fast. Like when I was coming down here, like there was a bunch of times where my canoe, like it was like my back end, I had like 50 pounds in the back end, so every time I would hit a current, like a corner, the current would take my canoe and like it, like I had the hardest time trying to like counter it. So if it wanted to take it one way, I tried to straighten out, but it didn't want to straighten out. So that's what made it like really hard doing that. And I can throw in imagine what the rest of the river would be like going down. But anyway, it's going to probably be really hard going back up. Because it took me, i say less than an hour from like the one portage mark there that goes to like Misty Lake. It took me an hour to go from there to this campsite here. So I would assume probably tomorrow with the current, it's going to probably take me twice as long. But I think it would be worth it. don't want to waste too much energy. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, this, <laughs> this portage, man, like, like right beside me is the rapids. So where this portage is, the portage is right here, and then probably a couple feet away over, the rapids are right there, and the current's moving so fast, like, you know, you're gonna take a second, like, if you're, you're not right on it, like, you're gonna go down those rapids, so, that was really ske uh, sketchy for me, so I actually had to go right into the bushes, like find a little spot there to park in there and then I had to like fight through all those bushes to get to the beginning of the portage and then come down here. But yeah, it wasn't fun. But like I went back up there, kind of scouted out a little bit. I found a little, another opening, probably about 50 feet up and it's big and open and clear. So tomorrow I can launch in there and then just, just give her. So yeah, that's my plan. But other than that though, today was, good day you know like you know I did the one portage I wasn't having it and then as soon as I got to the end of it you know first cast in I caught a brookie and I was like yes so I ended up catching like a few brookie keeping one um, having like a little short lunch with one later on in the day uh, yeah that was a good day didn't really have to paddle too hard you know the current working with the current so that's Good part. And then I went down to the end of the portage here, at the end of the rapids, tried to do some fishing. 
Uh, didn't catch anything. Kept on getting snagged, pulling up twigs. And that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and then I came back here. So, yeah. Gonna probably eat some food. Chill out by the fire for a little bit. You can probably go to bed shortly. It's 8 o'clock now. morning of day three so I got myself a little bit of a big day today just have to travel up the Tim River and then on to Misty uh, last night um, we rained for the most part uh, I slept very comfortably though no water got into the tent even though my tent's on a lower elevation everything remained dry even underneath here so, but uh, it looks like today is going to be a rainy one. I'm not sure if it's no, it's not raining now. But I'm going to probably hop into my rain gear today. Not too sure if it's going to clear up or not. But yeah, so I'm just going to eat breakfast and then uh, clean up and then hunt it on out. I might just go down there, catch a few. Of or cast a few lines.
I'm on uh, Misty Lake for tonight. Um, actually, I had quite the short day today. Uh, I thought it was going to be a little longer than I thought. So, um, I started from Tim River, went upriver to the portage, the 1100 meter portage that connects to Shaw Lake. But uh, one thing I do want to say though, uh, yesterday I wasn't too fond of the campsite I was at, but just thinking about it today, uh, it was it was quite beautiful. Uh, it was rugged. Uh, listening to the rain at night when I was in the tent, it was it was soothing. Uh, the waterfall, um, just how dense the forest was and how it looked. It was it was quite beautiful. You know? um, so I'm actually quite glad that I experienced that. Um, but so back to the to how my day was. So the 1100 meter portage that I did. Um, it wasn't that great. Uh, there was down trees. Um, some of the trail was flooded. Uh, what else? Oh, there was like this one part where there's these really big rocks. You had to go up and they were kind of slippery. So I tried single carrying it, but I couldn't do it. So I had to put the canoe down, go up it, and then grab my uh, canoe, bring it up, and then and there was like down trees too, so I had to like go around, go around them, back onto the portage. And, but yeah, it wasn't. I didn't enjoy that. But the last, uh, the last two portages coming into Misty Lake, uh, they were a dream. I wish there was more like this. Like on my trip, you know, it's uh, they were drier, not too many wet spots. Um, what else? Uh, it was very spaced out. It was different. It's completely different than the other portages uh, I've done on this trip so far. Oh, yeah, and also forgot to on that 1100 meter portage, too. There was times where, you know, like I was stepping in mud that was almost up to like, the rim of my boot. And these things are, you know, got some water boots on. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, yeah, so those two last two portages were nice. Uh, the last, the 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 last one, which is the 700 meter one, which came to uh, Misty Lake, I just double carried. I didn't want to like really strain myself anymore, so it was a nice little relaxing walk. And plus, I was on time too, because when I got to Misty Lake, I thought I was going to be here like a little later, because I thought all the portages were going to be bad. Uh, but no, I got here quicker than I thought. So, uh, but when I came on here though, it was windy. Like, uh, the wind was blowing my canoe around. So I came to this campsite here, which unfortunately was, you know, right, really windy. So what I had to do was uh, set up this tarp, this wind shelter here. So what I did was uh, set up a ridge line, uh, and then uh, at the one part of my tarp here, I brought it straight down to the ground, and it's just straight up here. It's just that's where the wind was coming from, so that's where it practically stopped. It was good. It, it sheltered me from the wind. And then behind me, I have my uh, my tent set up. Uh, I was very fortunate enough finding firewood. Uh, I went walking around. Uh, there was already a couple like uh, dead um, dead trees that were knocked down. Must have been from the winter storm or some wind or whatever, but yeah, all I do is just drag them out there, process it, which took no time. Because sometimes, you know, you go to a campsite and uh, there's no wood anywhere. You're so all you do is mostly, you know, find, have a fire with just twigs and stuff, or they're lucky to find one tree. But, you know, I was very fortunate enough. It was, it was quick. I didn't have to really do any much searching. Uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah, I didn't do too much fishing today. A uh, couple spots at the Tim. Uh, actually, I went down shore here. Uh, cast the line a few times. Uh, but nothing. Uh, no takers. So, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Um, once I head up to uh, Ralph Lake. Um, 
I'll do some trolling and hopefully catch some fish. More fish there. I was kind of hoping to catch more fish this trip, but but that's life though. So, uh, but I am happy with the decision I make coming here. Cause I was just thinking, if I would have continued what I, my original plan was and try to do that 2,800 meter uh, black portage, and then right after that, 200 or 2,000 meter black portage, and if the trails were like really bad, that you know are practically you know they're well traveled, I guess. But these ones were black, and if I had a hard time with these ones because of just what the winter brought, I could just imagine what those would look like. So I'm happy with that decision. Let's get some more fire going. Um, but tactic, so maybe, I'm not too sure though. I think this might be the last night I'll be filming this trip. Like I'll definitely film something tomorrow, like during the day, but at night, uh, I'm not too sure because originally, actually my, uh, campsite I'm supposed to be at tomorrow is actually at the drop off, drop off point. But so, so what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna keep paddling to like four or five, and then, uh, so yeah, I'll keep paddling to four or five. So if there's no campsites available up to that point, I'm just gonna keep going until there's one available. If not, then go straight to the access point. And then, but let's say I go up, it's like four or five, and I notice that there's one, like a campsite available that was behind me, I'll just turn around and um, go to it. So pretty much my objective is to get as close as I can to the access point without actually going to the access point. But you know, if, if it comes down to it, it, comes down to it, just get the access point. I might just as well sleep in my truck till morning and then then head out. Oh boy, big flame. Okay, but anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna probably go, probably in a little bit. It's 9.20 now, there's still some light out. Um, the wind's gone now, so, but unfortunately it's too dark to really go do a paddle. Uh, but I'm gonna probably go down to the river, try to do some fish, fish <laughs> try to do some fishing, and hopefully I can catch something. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to turn the camera back on later or not. Yeah, so other than that, then um, that's it. Um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, maybe later.